Hey y'all, Ashley here, better known as Multifaceted ACG, bringing you 30 days of consecutive K-pop challenge content that you didn't even ask for, but you're glad I'm doing. Today is day 24. I've, uh, I've been waiting with enthusiasm for this. Um, <laughs> first, I'm not in any position to be claiming anybody is over or underrepresented or or anything of that sort. This is all opinions. I can back things with numbers, and that's still not gonna change how I feel about this particular thing. So, all of you out there who are fans of Wanna One, your group is extremely, extremely overrated to me. Now, let me clarify where I should be able to bite my tongue on this. I'm strictly comparing them to IOI, who I adored. IOI only, only had seven wins and 24 nominations when they were a group, and then they had nine music program wins. One of one comparatively has 22 award wins, 40 nominations, and 23 music program award wins. So, in the case of numbers, which is something I herald all the time, <laughs> that numbers don't lie. Yeah, numbers do not lie here. That's extremely impressive, and they are outshining in that regard. But let me let me just let me throw this little nugget at you. First and foremost. Produce 101 season one was the trial and error season and they decided to risk it with females. Why? Because they know statistically consumption for male groups, no matter how mediocre they may look and or sound, and that's not a jab at them this particular time, but no matter how mediocre they may look or sound, society is going to consume that with more excitement because there is statistically more support for males. So. They sent these young ladies out, had them aggressively compete, win, rock it. They had how many albums? Not that many. <laughs> Not that many. They had more endorsements in the year that they promoted than IOI, I'm sorry, than 101 does. Um, and they had one, two, three, four, five reality shows of their own. Uh, they, they were promoted very, very aggressively, the girl group. And this was CJ E&M who oversaw them. Now you come for season two and all of a sudden CJ E&M pulls in the additional promotion assistance of YMC Entertainment, which gives you extra power in terms of promo. CJ E&M is aggressively large. They are responsible for KCON. Um, but when you bring in another subordinate if you will for promo purposes you get a little bit more stretch you also have members in it from groups that have already debuted that already had a following of x amount of time this wasn't from girl groups that were yet to debut or were still gaining traction newest already existed love was already there hot shot already existed regardless of how much you knew about them they were already established so you pull in two acts from those particular groups not just based on votes from citizens that was also a strategy that was a strategy to be able to pull in the support of smaller represented uh fandoms so that we would gain more momentum that was a strategy that was not just honest necessity by votes because if it was then particular members would have actually made it in instead of having to debate uh not debut <laughs> debut <laughs> as solo artists um additionally you give ioi one year to survive and you give these boys two it's not fair that's not fair at all you are playing up strictly to the previous consumption habits of what you know for male artists not even giving the females enough of us platform and just survive as a as a collective i can't stand it <sighs> endorsement wise 101 has 16 ioi had more but 101 is going to have more because they have more time I, that's jacked up that's all it is to it and 
I, I don't understand why you want to pull at people's supportive heartstrings by giving them a group that will only be together for X amount of time. And the amount of energy that is surrounded by promoting and begging and pleading and bantering about having this group be together longer than the two years, that all I can do is just say it's not fair. It's just not fair. It's not fair. And it's not even coming from the direction of just me being a fan of IOI. I still support some of the ladies in the groups and or individual work that they're doing. But you do not set up unparalleled parameters. You see what I'm saying? You, you see? That's what makes your, your doggone group overrated they didn't have the same things coming in as the previous group it's not one year they're promoting it's two it's not a whole list of people who are still waiting for the limelight you pulled in intentionally two people who already had a following it ain't right the shit ain't fair <laughs> and i love getting on wannables about it support y'all group Go for it. Support them. Love them for the 15 seconds that they still have left. If they get another extension on their year-long contract, I'm going to be shouting to the high heavens about how it ain't fair. If you like this video, make sure to click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell because it's at least two steps involved with subscribing and getting notice for my channel. Make sure to share it with your other K-pop fans and leave some comments down below. I will check you in the next video. Bye, y'all.